Hello there, Nigel McTrustry, how are you going? Can't stop, I ran out chili peppers. I was just um, mucking about yesterday on a six string with that one. I thought that might work on a three string. I've um, pulled the pickup out of this one, you might have noticed that. So I'm running off this one with the nails, which is an old favorite of mine. And I'm in E, so E, B, E. So the intro is just D and E, and it's on the third fret on the middle string, on your B string. You've got a D there, and I'm just going to the high open E. So the trick to this one is uh, you sort of got to make it sound like it's uh, being played on a, a fretted guitar. So I've got a bit of muting going on here. I went down to the low E that time. There's an E up there. But um, it's just, uh, you know, a lot of ways to do it. See what you're comfortable with. But I went with this one in the end. Then the riff. The main riff, what this video is about really, I just wanted to um, get it down and so I can remember it. It's a good fun one. So what you're doing is you're playing the open E and it's an open E and you go up to the 10th fret, the 12th fret, that D and E there. And the way I'm going to explain this pattern or this progression, this riff, is it the bass, that is played all the time, those two notes. So it's E, E, D. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from the E, the sort of your, your bass, then you go to the, the D, repeat, and then you go D, B. So that's sort of the pattern that goes E, D, B, C with thrown in the middle. So best way to explain it is to play it slowly, I think. It's like a little triplet in here. That's it. That's the pattern. And it's pretty tricky, but it's fun to play. I thought it would be good on the three string, and it is. That first note, you could play it up on the, the E here. That E is the same as that. So, so you're up here in this little box between the 10th and the 12th fret. Down to the D. to the open B. He does use an open D string when he's doing it in the um, six string version. So you can be there. B, C on the eighth fret. So obviously if you've got a fretted instrument you've got to be able to play this pretty clean and um, should sound good. So and there is some um, chords but just check out the tabs for those. I haven't really looked into it too much. As I said I just had to go yesterday, but it does go G, D, so that's the third fret when you tune to E. B, D, can't stop and repeat. D, D, B, C. But C, that's it, not C sharp. And that's a straight out G chord, D chord. This one's a B minor chord if you've got a four string fretted or whatever you're doing. And then the C, I think, is like a C7 or a C minor.
minor seven maybe, I'm not sure. And then there's another bit where it goes. T up on the E, it's an E minor. Have fun.